of the President's address to be laid on the table. Secretary General. Sir, with the table, a copy in English and Hindi of the President's address to both the Houses of Parliament assembled together on, on the 31st January 2022. Honorable members, I refer with profound sorrow to the passing away of Dr. Mahendra Prasad, a sitting member, Sri Jayanta Roy, Sri Devendra Nath Barman, Sri Moses, and Sri Ganesh Kusum, former members of this house, and Pandit Bruju Maharaj, a world renewed Kathak dancer. Dr. Mahendra Prasad ji passed away on the 27th of December 2021 at the age of 81 years. Born in January 1940 in Govindapur village of Jehanabad district of Bihar, Dr. Mahendra Prasad was educated at Patna College, Patna University. An economist, industrialist and a social worker, Dr. Prasad had a humble beginning starting his career as a school teacher. Motivated by a desire to succeed his grit, determination, and work, hard work led to become a successful businessman, and he went on to establish two pharmaceutical companies. Dr. Prasad also set up a college at Vakari in Jahanabad, a rural and backward area of Bihar, to promote higher education among the poor, underprivileged, and girls. Dr. Prasad was accorded a certificate of national record by the publishers of Limca Book of Records for being the most traveled parliamentarian, having visited 209 countries, 191 UN member countries, and 18 other territories. He was also accorded the title of Atlantis Submariner in 2002 for driving into the Caribbean Sea to a depth of 173 feet. Dr. Prasad started his legislative career as a member of 7th Lok Sabha in the year 1980. He served as a member of this house for seven terms, six terms representing the state of Bihar from 1985 to 1992 and from 2000 till his sad demise, and one term as a nominated member from 1993 to 1994. Dr. Prasad also served as a member of, on the panel of vice chairman of this house. In the passing year of Dr. Mahendra Prasad, the country has lost a compassionate industrialist, dedicated social worker and a good parliamentarian. The Jayanti Rai passed away on the 1st of May 2021 at the age of 77 years. Born in November 1943 at Baharan in Bardwan district of West Bengal, Sri Jayanti Rai was educated at Bankura Christian College, Bankura, West Bengal. Sri Rai started his career as a school teacher. He strived for upliftment of weaker and deprived sections of society and took keen interest in agriculture development and eradication of illiteracy. He was also very actively involved in organizing agriculture laborers and small and marginal farmers in rural Bengal to further the cause of their rights. Dr. Jayanti Rai, Sri Jayanti Rai served as a member of this house 
representing the state of West Bengal from August 1994 to April 2000. In the passing of Sri Jayant Roy, the country has lost a dedicated social worker and an able parliamentarian. Sri Devendranath Burman passed away on the 18th July 2021 at the age of 77 years. Born in November 1943 at Bala. Kuti village in Kuch Bihar district of West Bengal, Sri Devendra Nath Burman was educated at the Nigam Nagar Junior BT College in Hata, West Bengal. A teacher, Sri Burman had actively participated in the flood and famine relief work in Kuch Bihar district. He also served as secretary of India Kisan Sabha, Bala Kira Black, West Bengal. Sri Devendra Nath Burman served as a member of this house representing the state of West Bengal from July 91 to July 1987. In the passing of Sri Devendranath Burman, the country has lost a dedicated social worker and a good parliamentary. Sri Moses passed away on the 17th of December 2021 at the age of 92 years. Born in October 1929, sorry, at Nagarkoil in Kanyakumari district of Tamil Nadu, Sri Moses was educated at Madras Medical College, Chennai. A doctor of medicine, Sri Moses was actively involved in providing free medical aid to the poor. He also worked for furthering the interest of the unorganized labor of Kanyakumar district of Tamil Nadu. Sri Moses started his legislative career as a member of the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly in the year 1971 and served that assembly for four terms. Sri M. Moses served as a member of this house representing the state of Tamil Nadu from April 1978 to April 1984. In the passing of Sri M. Moses, the country has lost a dedicated social worker and a good parliamentarian. Sri Ganeshwar Kusum passed away on the 24th of December 2021 at the age of 87 years. Born in March 1934, at Talpatiya in Sambalpur district of Odisha, Sri Ganeshwar Kusum was educated at the Jersu Goda High School and the Elementary Training Centre, Panchpara, West Bengal. In agriculture, Sri Kusum started his career as a school teacher, inspired by his family's contribution to the freedom struggle and the call of national leaders. He sacrificed higher education to join the crusade against the oppression of depressed and backward class at a young age. Sri Kusum also worked very seriously for the socio-economic development of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and was instrumental in championing their legal rights. He also served as the chairman of Sardar Ghar Sadar Panchayat Samiti in 1977 and 1984. Sri Ganeshwar Kusum served as a member of the South representing the state of Odisha from April 1984 to April 1990. In the passing away of Sri Ganeshwar Kusum, the country has lost a champion of the rights of the depressed classes, a dedicated social worker, and a good parliamentarian. Pandit Virju Maharaj passed away on the 17th of January 2022 at the age of 83 years. Born in a family which had a long standing association with the Kathak dance form, Virju Maharaj took to Kathak at a tender age of four under the guidance of his father and uncles. He was a child, Prodigy. A Diana of Kathak dance form, Pirju Maharaj took the Indian classical dance form to ethereal heights through his mesmerizing performances across the world. Belonging to Lucknow's Kolkata Brindavan Gharana of the Kathak, Pirju Maharaj was known for his impeccable footwork and emotive stylish storytelling, the Kathak way. He also created his own Kathak, that is, stories, and very skillfully blended them into Kathak to portray social issues through dance. Virju Maharaj was also proficient in the Hindustani classical music and percussion instruments. He choreographed and composed music for many Indian movies and won the National Film Award for his choreography in 2012. As an exceptional mentor and guru, Pandit Urju Maharaj stood true to the age-old Guru Sishya Parampara of our country and nurtured and trained an impressive number of illustrious classical dancers 
who continue to generously carry the flag of Indian classical dance forms across the planet. We had started teaching the dance from at the age of uh, th from the age of 13 years. Besides serving as the head of faculty of directorate of Kathak Kendra, New Delhi, a unit of the Sangeet Natak Academy, he also established a Kalashram, a dance school in Delhi. Pandit Birju Maharaj was the recipient of several prestigious awards, notable being the Sangeet Natak Award in 1964 and Padma Vibhushan in 1986. In the passing of Pandit Birju Maharaj, the country has lost a legendary exponent of Kathak dance form and exceptional mentor and a pole star in the world of performing arts. Through the resonance of his radiant artistry, will live through many generations to come. His passing has left an irrevocable void in the Indian cultural ethos. We deeply mourn the passing of Dr. Mahendra Prasad, Sri Jayant Roy, Sri Devendra Nath Barman, Sri M. Moses, Sri Ganeshwar Kusum, and Pandit Burju Maharaj. I request the members to raise in their places and observe silence as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed. Secretary General will convey to the members of the bereaved families our sense of profound sorrow and deep sympathy. <laughs> members may kindly note that in view of the present situation due to COVID pandemic, the seating arrangements for members have been made in Rajya Sabha chamber, Rajya Sabha galleries, except press gallery and Lok Sabha chamber. The fixed seat division numbers for members as is done in normal seating arrangements as their phone be dispensed with this session, for this session. The number of seats for each party at different places, that is Rajya Sabha chamber, Rajya Sabha galleries, Lok Sabha chamber have been fixed as per their numerical strength for allocation amongst their members by the respective parties. Members sitting in the galleries of Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha chamber are requested to raise their hands, introduce themselves, and also announce the place, that is the gallery number. Lok Sabha chamber, clearly from where they are speaking before taking part in the discussion as and when called, so that they could be identified easily. For the sake of reaching out to people through proper voice, members are permitted to speak while sitting. I may also inform the members that the economic survey 2021-22, which will be laid today on the table of the House, would be made available to the members on the members' portal soon after laying. I would like to make a request to the members, please stick to the seats that are allotted to you, your party and to you. I have already asked the Secretary Generals to speak to the leaders of different parties to see that their members are informed about the seating arrangement so that members can occupy those seats. Even today, I see some members sitting closely to each other. This should be avoided at any cost. Secretary General, papers to be laid at the table. Sir, with your kind permission, I rise to lay on the table a statement in English and Hindi showing the bills passed by the Houses of Parliament during the 255th session of the Rajya Sabha and assented to by the President. Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman. Raman. 